guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go into this palette right here, the 35i Fantasy by Morphe. I'm so excited. I have not seen a pastel palette be done. I could be wrong, but I have not seen one done. So I am so freaking excited to get in this and do the swatches and do a look with this. I'm so excited. But guys, before we get into that, I wanted to remind you guys that we have a giveaway going on until the 7th. The video for that will be linked in the description down below. So check that out if you want to enter. And also guys, we are so close to hitting 500 subscribers. I'm so, so excited for that. And shortly after we hit 500, we will be doing a giveaway for that getting everything gathered for that. I am so excited. It's going to be an amazing giveaway. If you are new to my channel and have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you guys know when my next video is. Let's get into these swatches. Ooh, it's just as pretty as the box. Oh my gosh. They always put like the names on this. Wish they put names on the palette, but it's okay. And this is the palette, you guys. That is so gorgeous. I cannot wait to get into this. Oh, and even the, the Morphe is pastel. So, guys, before I get into these swatches, this is a very large palette. I don't want the swatches to go on forever and ever and ever because it is. So, I'm going to be swatching each row showing you guys the row on my arm and that's how I'm going to be doing the swatches. Okay guys, first we have white out which is right here. Very pigmented white. And then we have snow glow right there. Look at that glow. And then wishful which is this pastel yellow right here. And then we have flash freeze right here. You can see my, the plastic right there. And then we have Secret Escape right here, this great transition shade. Then we have So Surreal, which is, this is like a pinky topper shade right here. And then this gorgeous purple is Spellbinding. And it is definitely Spellbinding for me. So this is the first row. You guys, why am I always so in love with my palettes? Oh my gosh, this is brilliant right here. This gorgeous icy shade. And this is a topper shade, which you can put over shadow. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. And then this like purpley pink one is Euphoria. And then this greenish yellow pastel is echo and then we have this gorgeous minty shade which i like it's called thaw yeah <laughs> i like that and then we have chill thrill and then into the blue obviously and this gorgeous of course purple is called dreamer oh my gosh <sighs> So this third row is, so first shade is Get Fresh, Coral Cloud, Soar, Dazed, Cold Snap, and then we have this gray in between the purple right there. That is below zero, and then this purple is Deliver Shiver. Hmm, look at that. Oh my gosh. So we have Imagine, and then Rosy Haze, and then this beautiful coral shade that matches my shirt. Sky High, Mystical, Starlit, which has so many different, like, shades in it. It's so freaking pretty. Then we have Arctic 
Abyss, which is this darker gray, and then this purple Holothermia. These, so we have Hush, which is another gray, but you can, there's so many like ways to do crazy smoky eyes. I'm excited. That's going to be happening in a future video. Definitely. Fierce Flurry Avalanche. And this purpley blue is Cosmic Cool. And this glitter. Oh my gosh. Is Frostbite. Black Ice. And then we have Charmed. You guys. This palette. Hi. Is so good. Oh my gosh. Those were the swatches. I want to go into Whiteout. And I want... I want all the pigment, right? That's what I always want. So, let's just see how pigmented these shadows are. Ooh, look at that white. So this is my Morphe times Jaclyn Hill JH41 brush. It's a flat shader brush. This is very pigmented, oh my gosh. And I'm just wanting to get my whole entire eye where I'm going to have shadow. Yeah, that is pretty white. About as white as my face. Paper white. I'm going to go in my Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill JH42 brush. It's a highlighting brush. I am going to go into Brilliant right here. I know this is like a topper shade, but you know, let's see what she's got for me. Ooh, I feel like an ice princess right now. You could totally do an icy look with this. Just this has um, got me expired for a future. Expired. Got me inspired for a future look. I'm going to go into So Surreal, which is this shade right here. Do you see this lovely shade of just all purples going on? Yeah, I have to stray away from that. My husband says, like, I have to stray away from that purple row because apparently I do purple way too much, my husband says. So, he wants to see a different look than purple. I'm going to go into this blue shade right here. And just get in part of my crease. That, that is pigmented. Pastel Beautifulness, super pigmented right away, no streaking, blendability, amazing. Then I'm going to go into this coral shade right here because it matches my shirt. Now pastels aren't very, very, very like boom in your face. They're very light and delicate and gorgeous and it's a great way to introduce color to people that are afraid to use color. Then I want to go into this like minty green shade because it's so so beautiful. These pastels are gorgeous. They're very dainty to me. They're beautiful. Then I'm going to go into this orange right here. And I'm using my JH40. It's a very detailed brush to like really, really get in there. Which is what I am doing. I just wanted to see what all these colors could do. Look at that orange.
And then I want to go into this yellow shade for my very inner, inner lid. And all I'm doing is taking the detailed brush and just kind of packing it on. I'm going to go into this greenish white shade right here for that inner corner. And then I'm going to go in with my JH43 and I'm just going to mimic what is on my eye for my under eye. So guys, that is the final look. I'm showing you guys up close because pastels are very, very light. But there are a lot of the colors. It's like a rainbow pastel. And now I'm debating if I should do a wing or not. Yeah, I'm going to go do my liner and lashes and I will let you guys know what I think. These are how pastels are supposed to perform. They're supposed to be very light and they are very pigmented for pastels and they blend great. I will be right back to show you guys the finished look. So guys, that is the final look. I had my doubts at first, but you know, it all comes out together and it's really actually pretty. It's very dainty and it is actually very colorful. Like I'm used to boom color in your face, you know, so this is very different, but it looks really nice. It's very light and you get all those different colors in there. I really like it. Even when I put the liner and eyeliner, it didn't like take away from its daintiness. Like I don't know why, like, it's dainty to me. It's very, very feminine looking and dainty. I, I don't know why. It just is. And I love how I put all the colors next to each other and it didn't just, like, jumble up together and look like a mess. It looks beautiful. You can see all the colors. I wish I could add more in there, but, you know, my eye's only so big. But I have so many ideas for this palette, like, for with like to make a smoky eye with this silver shade or put this silver shade and do some other things that I will mention because I'm going to mess with that because I have an idea in my head that I just like, I have to do that. Like I will be doing that very soon. But yeah, guys, I really like it. It's really pretty. And I bet if you wanted it extra pigmented, you could actually like Put your finger and pop your finger on it and get a little bit extra more pigment. But I wanted to try an all matte pastel look. And it looks really pretty. It's just I'm getting all these different colors to my eyes. It's, it's just very different. It's a very different look. So guys, let me know what you guys think of the new Morphe 35i Fantasy Ice palette. I will be going back into this. But I just wanted to show you guys how it works and how these pastel shades look. And I think it is a, like I said, I think it is a great way to introduce color to people that are afraid to use color. So this is a great way to use color. And then also, you know, you have those darker shades down here and like some right here. You know, you have your very, very pastel shades, and then you have some you have some other options as well. So this is a pretty great palette for someone who wants to get into color but is afraid to get into color. Or kind of want to get nostalgic, feel like my little pony, you know. So guys, I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, if you liked this rainbow-esque kind of candy hearts vibes for me. Also guys, if you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell so you guys know when my next video is. I love you guys so, so, so very much. Bye.